shut up and sit down. Do you spill in time? So today we're going to talk about something uh, less funny and address a problem within the fan community. Uh, and that is favorite actor and actress shaming. Uh, I know that I can personally be guilty of this uh, when it comes to the cast of the 2004 film. I just cannot, and I will do a review stating why. Uh, but I try and recognize that people choose their favorites for personal reasons. And while their performance might not resonate with me, they might with someone else. And that is what is important about theater, people celebrating different interpretations of a role. So today I'm talking about something that sometimes causes some assumptions uh, to be made about me, uh, particularly the idea that I am a mainstream fan because my favorite Christines are Anna O'Byrne and Sierra Bodges. Uh, they assume I've pretty much only seen the 25th anniversary and Australian Love Never Dies recordings. Boy, are you wrong. Um, I've seen the show live, I think, seven or eight times now. And I have seen countless bootleg scenes on YouTube. I have to be a good person and tell you not to film the show. It's illegal. But... I have seen plenty of Christine's and I believe I have seen enough to make an informed decision. So here are my reasons why loving Sierra and Anna does not make me a mainstream fan. The thing with Sierra and Anna is that they both brought something unique and memorable to the role. Sierra has this very innocent, uh, carefree interpretation, uh, first rate, uh, intuition for making acting choices, uh, which really shines, particularly during Twisted Every Way and The Final Lair. Uh, I also love how she is very obviously pro Eric and doesn't just toss him, you know, as a monster like some actresses do. Uh, with Anna, she has this very reserved style. Um, you can see the depression and the effect that Christine's father's death has had on her which is very important uh, because it makes her attachment and just kind of all a need for Eric, even after she finds out he's not the angel of music, very believable. Uh, we tend to cling to certain things in our darkest hours and Anna's interpretation really conveys that. Another reason I love them is because they both have very legit based voices you can really hear the classical technique in there, uh, which is actually hard to maintain when you work in musical theater constantly, uh, because the placement and vowel shapes in particular are very different in the two styles. But that legit sound is very important to me with my opera background. Um, plus, I mean, the character of Christine is an opera singer. She needs to sound like I also hear bad technique very easily because of working in opera for so long. Uh, and honestly, it kind of sucks because, and it's, you know, it's a bit of a curse in that sense. Um, and bad technique really bothers me. But Sierra and Anna are both very technically solid, in my opinion. Speaking of their individual voices, uh, specifically, uh, Sierra has a very rich, warm tone to her voice with beautiful vibrato uh, and consistent, even legato phrasing. Uh, she has a huge voice for someone so small. Uh, Anna has a slightly cooler tone, which is highly believable for Christine um, as well, um, since Christine is A, young, uh, in the book, she's like 20, which is ridiculously young for an opera singer. And B, uh, the way Christine is described, she would likely be a lyric soprano, and that's pretty common. Um, both, in my opinion, have extremely believable voices for a character trained by the greatest musician that ever lived. Now, let's talk about the original musical versus Love Never Dies. 
Uh, I loved Anna in Love Never Dies because she has such a natural, mature vibe that would naturally come after 10 years passing and everything Christine has been through. Um, as someone who has lived through that kind of a marriage, it takes a toll on you. I really love Sierra in the original because of the innocence prior to the disillusionment. Uh, I again know what that's like uh, to see the world through rose-colored glasses, only to have it ripped away. Uh, so I love the 25th anniversary and Love Never Dies recordings were cast the way they were because I just relate that way personally. Uh, but of course, they're equally excellent reversed. Now those of you who know me personally might call me biased because I currently take voice from Anna and will also be working with Sierra soon. Uh, but no, I chose to seek training from them because I respect them so much as artists. And I am very, very fortunate and thankful um, to have the opportunity to work with them. So, now that you've heard my little rant, hopefully it's a little more clear that Anna and Sierra are my favorites for legitimate reasons, not just because they're some of the most famous. They're two of the most famous for a reason. And they're not the only Christines I like. I mean, come on. I'm also a huge fan of Sandra Joseph, uh, Jennifer Hope Wills, Gina Beck, Sarah Jean Kelly, Julie Hansen, Kelly Matheson, Kaylee Ann Voorhees, and several others, really. All for unique reasons. Though I will say the moments I judge my Christines on the most are their point of no return, final lair, and the kiss. Sierra and Anna top my list equally, I might add. That would be like choosing a favorite child. Um, because their representations are the ones I relate to the most and are the closest I've seen to the acting choices that I would make in either show. Uh, that representation that I'm not the only one who feels uh, that way about Christine's character, motivations, and relationships just feels good. All right, now that I've covered my favorite Christine's, uh, you can be on the lookout for my favorite Phantoms video. I have no idea when that's coming, so just hold your horses. <laughs> Some of y'all get real impatient when it comes to those reviews. Stay fantastic with a pH, and remember to keep your hand at the level of your eyes.